Last episode, we finished our Conference League adventure on the round of 16. We went past our countrymen from Slovatsko in the knockout playoffs, but AS Roma was too strong for us. We didn't lose without a fight though. In this potentially final episode of the series, we'll try to secure another European adventure so that you could continue this career with a head start. With 11 games to go, every point would count. We should be more than safe about the championship group, but the main condition to get to play in Europe again is to get ahead of Mlada Boleslav. We're starting with the game against Levan Liberec, in which we got off to a dream start. Alex Ristic got fouled in the edge of the area, Jan Adam set it's a pen, and Filip Blecha converted it. We didn't stop there though, with Marek Fiala having another big chance. It would be great if we could keep our discipline after half time, because guess what? Pedro Aparicio cut inside and equalized. With 10 minutes to go, we are lucky to be still drawing when Ali hit the post and Bestek had to clear this mess in the box. But after another mess, Nguyamba gave Slovan the victory and made our European perspective slightly fade away. That wouldn't be good news before the game versus Banik Ostrava. The possibly final derby of the save was about to begin. Before I begin commentating this game live, I would like to remind you that I'm playing on key highlights. But the amount of them in this game was massive. Every 5 minutes there was a major chance mainly in favor of Banik, which made us worried we are going to get dismantled. Still looking for passes. Matej Kovacic, I don't know what he was doing here. Sanka now into the box, 5 the Kaiser again with a save. Richards. He passes it long to Marek Fiala, Denis Isakov just possession, but Marek Fiala wins it back, I think that was offside. Let's the ref decide, let's the ref decide. I'll be surprised if he awards it. He's not counting it, but good, we've put the ball into the net. It will be a long throw from Lukasz and to Alex Ristic. Just ahead of the penalty area, Jan Krupa scores it into the top bins. We are leading the potentially final derby. Get the ball to Jakub Kolar. A couple of passes have been exchanged. Alex Ristic, what a play. This time he wasn't offside, but what a play. Doesn't. I mean, where was offside? Valjankovic. Denis Isakovic. Maybe this time. Alex Ristic. Well, make some sort of a pass to Denis Isakovic. This time it wasn't offside. This time we're closing the game off. Again to the Slovenian, Youth International. Don't know if he's getting senior caps, but what matters is this pass to Denis Isakovic. 3-0. We won. That's what matters. That's a great way to assert our dominance in Czech Silesia. Especially considering the fact the city of Ostrava isn't exactly Silesian. So I guess we're the only real Silesians playing in this derby. We took the three points and kept it in a game against Teplice, where we used some passing into space to let Marek Fiala and Nikola Vasov score one each. Marek Fiala would keep the phone going against Mlada Bolesov, scoring a quick brace. Despite Vasil Kusche giving a good run for our money, Alex Ristic showed him that Czech Silesia is essentially superior. Same as Godwin Basse, but in a game against Lovacko. Good to know we didn't win in Europe by accident. Championship group was more than safe at that time. But if you wanted to finish this safe on third, we have to keep the form against the team that currently is third. Victoria Pilsen. Keeps possession for us. Marek Fiala gets launched a long one. Can cross it to the box or pass it back to Kovacic. Radek Schulmeister with a long shot. It's the highlight for us. Matej Kovacic. And it looks like could be a famed here. And I think we are truly getting a famed. This doesn't go in, but Ryan Ashimento. Oh my days. We just lost the game, despite having four times the shots that Victoria had. Is it normal? Absolutely not. That FMing dropped us to fifth in the table. But we have been blessed with a chance to take revenge on Pilsen. This time, on our ground. Zanotti drives into the penalty area. Valjankovic, good one. That was so clear. You cannot call this a pen. I was right. Oksan into João Tavares, who drives into the box, hits the post. As Valjankovic can deliver from this corner to Lukas and fantastic header. There is no way that's offside. Like, how can you get an offside from a corner? Let's be honest. I, I want to know. Well, the ref calls it offside for whatever reason. Let's look at this. Cross, how is this offside? The man was nowhere near blocking Mrozek's view. Runs forward on the right side. Radek Schumacher, fantastic cross to Alex Ristic. Lukas Entl with a long throw. To Ivan Maciek on the left side. Crosses it to Godwin Basse, but Petr Novotny finds himself well in the mess in the box. Passes to Christian, and I think that Victoria may as well 
Go for something here, but Schultz was offside. Pavel Schultz was offside. He stole the goal from us. From a corner. That was absolutely fair. Viktor Pizan players keep pushing and now Vit Vitek. How has he missed that? You know, Maciek Turkash end. I think it was offside. We are actually taking revenge on Victoria Pils and this time they had massive advantage and they have been affirmed. This win, the win against Mada Boleslav and the draw against Slovan Liberec, this penalty save being the biggest highlight, guaranteed our qualification to European competitions. So what's left is both Prague teams, both tightly contesting for the championship. We are here to slightly mess up their plans and Pampin is going to cross it into the... Okay, maybe not like that. Let's see what we've got instead of Filip Blecha. With a cross to Denis Isakovic, who after a rebound gives us equalizer. This match was full of mistakes and errors, both defensive and attacking ones, including this blunder. Committed to the play, but what is this? Solbaken is about to cross it. Well, Jovanovic clears it. Now, Filip Becker can launch a counter as he's about to pass it to who? He's driving it to the penalty area. He actually tried to score by himself, hits the post. Makes a cross to Alex Ristic. Ristic wins the header. Passes to Franco. What was... Explain me. What was Fabian De Kayser doing here? Who are we having for this free kick? Vasov? No. Yutsevan Mirkovic. Can make a cross. Make a short pass. He stopped. He's decided to shoot. And he makes it to one. Fantastic free kick from him. There's just so much chaos going on. Jovanovic. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if Adam Irkar scores here. He dribbles past. And Vasov in possession, no. But Arnau is going to score. Just like that. And Adam Irkal is going to score a winner. Because we cannot keep the result again. We've done it already at the start of the season. Thankfully, it's offside. We are so lucky not to lose this one. We should have won. Should have won. Seriously. And it brings us the final day. Being separated between Slavia and Sparta by a single point. The final game of this save starts now. Fully packed Eden Arena in Prague is awaiting us. We've got our representation on one of the, on one of the stands. So let's show them what we are capable of. Win this game, we may jump into third. That's what I'm all bothered about. Romero to the Margot Bradaric. And Baeza was about to make a header, although the ref decides it's another chance to rob us of our chances of playing for higher than fourth. And he gives a pen! He just gives a pen just like that. Again. Lukas and gets a yellow. We don't know for what. Marin Petkov steps up and is about to score. Yes, he is exactly at the middle. What is this man's decision making process? Don't understand. Valjankovic. A cross into the short post. Lukas N, to Valjankovic, to Matej Kovacic, strong shot, powerful one, into the bottom corner, and we equalize immediately. Andre Link with a fantastic strike, by the way. Just wait, lads. Filibreha. Long ball to Marek Fiala, who's in the penalty box to score. It's 2-1. Fantastic strike from our main star striker. It's again Bradaric. To David Pech on the right side. Cuts inside to Marin Petkov. On the link to Akume, and it's going to be an equalizer, so we have to score one more. Currently, it's Slava Prague in advantage. Filip Blecha, fantastic win of possession. But Valenkovic again with a blunder. David Pech into the box. Although Baeza with a fantastic solo run. Although it's a cross to Romero. Although Sanchez launches a long one because remember. Slavia Prague is playing for the championship here. And the draw is not working for them at all. Godwin Basse, fantastic pass to Marek Fjall and the penalty area. How he could have missed that? Valjankovic with a cross into the box. Adam Svedik on the right side. Why have you decided to do that? And it's another highlight. Slavia Prague are playing for the championship here, remember. Godwin Basse. To Zaferis and they're going to celebrate the title. I mean, we are fourth anyway, and the fairies with final strike it looks like. Slava Prague, congratulations for them. 
They at least broke the domination of Sparta Prague, but it's still Duopoly. They won the title in the final minute, that's something that we need to take care of. They lift the trophy. These are your season 6 winners of the Czech League. And I've got to say it was in dramatic fashion. We could have won. We'll see if it mattered or not. I hope that Victor Pilsen have won at this point. Although I'm still mad at Marek Fela that we didn't win. And he didn't convert his chance. Let's see. We could have been third. We could have been third. We lost it in the final minutes. We have the conference league. And that is it when it comes to the entire save. What I've got to say is... First and foremost, thank you for watching all of this, despite the fact that only one video actually made some serious views. But for anyone who sticked around, especially the Czech boys, the local boys, thank you. Because that was an amazing career to play. Thank you for watching, but anyways. We should have won, let's be honest, but it's still a great result. We established SFC Opava and top 4-5 of the Czech football. But all in all, save was a fantastic adventure. And a pleasure to record, because let's be honest, if I wasn't recording, I wouldn't be playing the save at all. And I guess it's time to see some of the most interesting things of this save. When it comes to the other European leagues, which we check after every season, you won't see too many surprises. Apart from Manchester United getting that Premier League and also the Europa League, our competition, the Conference League, was won by Brighton, who thrashed Celtic in the final. And the Champions League, it was Real Madrid who defeated PSG on penalties. You already know Slavia Prague won the Czech League in the final seconds, but looking at the other side, it would be Hradec Karlovy to go down. Both Brno and Vyshkov saved themselves in a playoff. The only season 7 transfer I made was just some youngster whose contract was running out. We also had a youth intake, but that isn't anything special. On the other side, our record sale Roberto Piris is starting regularly in Ligue 1 and is valued at over 40 million already. That rounds up the save and I'm grateful for you watching it until the end. If that's the case, you can hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content. Peace!